Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Buildmonger, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Bounds. So guys, uh, the pack has now updated to 2.7, which uh, included an update to uh, Paintings++, plus plus, which essentially meant that all our paintings disappeared. But we can place them back down exactly the same way they were, but I think I'm gonna change a few things up with the paintings, just make them uh, just a tad, tad more interesting, I think. Man, this is a hard choice. I'm gonna go with that. The still life paintings, I love those things. And uh, here, uh, no, not that one. Uh, it has to be on this block, which uh, I'm gonna go with the hourglass, because I love that one. But now we got three cool paintings. So in today's episode, I wanna work uh, with a little bit of stuff that relates to the enchanting table we got last episode in a dungeon. I, uh, I was looking through the uses and I found something interesting, which is that, which will uh, allow us to uh, do something really interesting with an end goal for this series. Because I have an interesting end goal to try out with this series, which is, uh, I want to make a katana. And this katana is, is uh, pretty straightforward, I guess, but it requires a lot of interesting, weird metal processing stuff that, uh, you probably won't see very many places. So I want to try and get some processing stuff related to that. However, the first step is to make an ancestral infuser, which requires this enchanting table, a little bit of yellow wool, uh, which is easy peasy, and a bottle of and some bottles of Japanese ancestry. And if you look in the uh, Better With Mods guidebook, Japanese spirits come from karate zombies, which are uh, a zombie variant that spawns at night. I have not, I have religiously slept every night, and I, I wasn't even able to kill any monsters on my caving session. So I need to prepare a little bit for that, but no, I think it'll be fun. Let's get some stuff together. Now the first thing I want to do is actually make a pretty nifty uh, sword thing. Because I feel like it is sort of important to not use a stone sword. So we got this iron sword, and what we can do is we can add some uh, gold to it, which I uh, gilds it. And then adding a, a little bit of a diamond on it makes it a jeweled sword. And this thing is far more powerful than uh, what we had before, even if it looks like kind of a Mardi Gras prop thing. So, yeah, no, I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, might as well put some of this stuff in where it belongs just like so boom and we can uh, start uh, fighting monsters once night becomes a thing the Sun is setting and the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go a little bit out of the way into our into a, a different area and I did not notice this before that is an insane mountain but Regardless, uh, we need to fight some things, and we need to get some karate zombies stuff. Got some glass bottles here. I'm going to put them in my offhand so that the spirits will be attracted to whatever we do. And yeah, I'll keep you updated as we fight through all these monsters. And here we have one. All right, Mr. Karate Zombie, let's do this. And oh, man. Oh, man. We got three bottles, so that's enough for the Ancestry uh, Infuser. But of course, we still have uh, plenty of uh, stuff that we need to power the Infuser as we go along. So let's keep finding stuff. Final hoard is ten bottles, as you can see here. However, I seem to have made a crucial misunderstanding of uh, exactly how uh, the uh, Ancestral Infuser works. To give it levels, you have to infuse soul sand around it. So essentially, we need to essentially place soul sand or whatever, which means we need to get soul sand, which will be fun. So essentially, what that means is we have to do some stuff. So let me grab a uh, piece of iron and a little bit of uh, flint. I think there's a little bit of gravel over here that we can uh, turn into flint. You can actually craft uh, two gravel into flint, which is super useful because sometimes flint isn't given out by gravel. But uh, regardless, that actually puts a little bit of a uh, wrench in my plans, but we don't even need obsidian to get another portal because they generate naturally. 
So if I can find another piece of gravel. You know what? I'm just going to flat out break this over and over again until I get flint. There we go. Flint and steel get. And we shall head into the abyss that is the nether. Alright. And that is super cool, by the way. I did not know that was a thing. So we just need, like, a, a few blocks of soul sand. I'm going to see if I can get, like, half a stack just to be safe. I don't think it consumes soul sand or anything like that, but there is always that possibility. And I forgot that Nether X is in the pack. So we might we might experience a few monsters that we haven't seen before. I think these are just particles. I don't think they'll damage you, but I am going to need quite a few of these soul sand blocks here. So let's see. Just a little bit of this. And yeah, no, I think this will be super useful for what we're trying to do. So let's see. How's that? Grab a little bit more. There's the half a stack we were going for. Just a tad bit more, and then we can start setting up this ancestral infuser, guys. Alright, be right back with you. Ancestral infuser has been obtained, but uh I've learned a few things about it. Got a little test world going just to try a few things out, figure out exactly what I had to do because it was slightly unclear from the description in the uh, book but I think I understand it now so what you have to do you have to dig out a dark room it has to be dark you can use uh, redstone torches but I don't think yeah n I don't necessarily think that they provide light to stop mobs from spawning it'll just help us uh, see a little bit so that will be sort of a thing and then what we need to do is I'm going to dig a little bit of a chasm out right here for the ancestral infuser. So we're just going to do this and we are going to go down another layer, place the soul sound down there so we have a little bit of a thing to place the ancestral infuser on. And there we have it. We have the very basics. Next thing we need to do is we need to place the infuser right on top. And... We need to fill this up with a few spirits. <laughs> and that'll kind of do its thing right there. It's actually really cool looking. So now that we got that, we can start working on gathering various uh, materials to plop in there. For one, uh, I think it's right... I don't know. We, we need a sapling, long story short. And once that's been accomplished, you can... Start uh, throwing stuff or crafting stuff with it. It has two interfaces. There's this crafting, or you can just throw stuff on it. And uh, I think that's how it works. I have no idea. I have no idea, because I didn't even get it. Did I? Oh, yeah, I got a mulberry sapling. So that's what happens. You throw things on top of the infuser, and you have to make sure it's on top. But once you uh, do that, it will uh, transform itself. And I got uh, the two I need first try. 50-50 chance for either, but I'm super glad I got those, and uh, yeah, so next thing we're going to need to do is we are going to need to get some of those saplings grown. The final thing I want to do in today's episode is just coming over here and essentially, long story short, grabbing this sugarcane because it will be important. We need to turn this sugarcane into bamboo in a similar way we did with the, you know, with the saplings and that will just kind of complete our roster of plants that we need to make a katana because uh, bamboo you need some slats or whatever to kind of get that stuff all you know finished up so yeah that is sort of what we are doing so let's come back down here as you can see like so we come over here and then we can let's see throw this on here no uh, like, uh, like this. And, uh, that should become bamboo. And, uh, one more I think would be good. And we are running out of spirits in that thing, so let me add just a few more in here. Oh. That was a terrible idea. Uh, but whatever. There we are. Uh, we got, uh, you know, let's add all of them. There's no harm in doing something like that. Alright, so that's about it we have for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you later. Peace.